Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a T69, so Tier 8 American medium tank. It's located on the north spawn of Glacier and it's under the command of Mary Banks. Well, this is an autoloader tank. Yes, it's got four shot in an autoloader, an American autoloader, 90mm gun, 240 alpha, and penetrates 181mm with standard ammo. And that goes up to 250 with the heat rounds. Now, the T69 is considered fairly weak because um, its armor isn't quite as big or as good as the T57 heavy. She tries one shot at the AMX 12, uh, 1357, trying to go up to the carrier. Didn't get it on this occasion. Now, she could have opted for the reload, but um, probably better actually to keep her shells safe for the moment. There are a couple of enemies just over the ridge line, and oh, there's some over there she can see right away. She blocks a shot from the Centurion, and you can see actually the armor is not that bad. He hit the round right at the top of her turret, and it bounced clean off. If he'd actually aimed for the cheeks, she would have got a pen. And she's just blocked a, another shot from the enemy. Look, three shots hit her, none of them penned. Oh, enemy, and before she gets a shot, the LTTB is killed. Now, Mary Banks does complain often that she goes for kills that she thinks she can get, and somebody beats her to the punch. Now, that's a byline for all RT players, because most of us have had one game or other where you fire a shell at the enemy, only to find out one of your teammates has killed him just before your shell arrives. And so you miss out on a certain kill. But this happens to Mary Banks quite a lot. Oh, she can see a Super Hornet, or Super Hellcat, go rubber, not going up the uh, carrier. Puts one in his ass. Gets a kill. But that time round, she was hit in the side of the turret. And that one did pen her. Just trying to find out where the shot went in. She's looking towards the perimeter road. T-34-100 just got killed. She's waiting for her reload to complete. 25 seconds for four shots. And she's bounced another round from the Centurion. So she's wasting the enemy shells because they're trying to shoot her and get hits on her and they're just bouncing rounds off. She's just rocking barrels and forwards. Yeah, look at that. Another one. She's going to end up with a steel wall if they keep doing this. Ah, now that one did pen her. And it went in through almost near the loader's area. Was it the loader or the commander? No, they pulled back, but it's the GW Panther who hits her hard and takes out her driver. She's going to have to put the driver back in, otherwise this thing's going to be slow and very unmaneuverable. But unfortunately, her... Uh, First aid kit's on cooldown. So she'll just have to wait. Now, can she get shots on these guys? AMX 12 ton. She's still loading. Just tempting them to fire at her in the meanwhile, because of course it'll give her a medal. Yep, those guys can't see her anymore. Not while they're hiding there. Oh, there's the Amex 12 ton. She's almost loaded. No. Go for it again. Oh, and just before she gets the shot on target. Again, a kill steal. Seems to be the story of Mary Banks' life. And now she's been hit by the GW Panther. And you can see a massive grey hole on the front of her vehicle. She's been hit by him twice, actually. She's lost... 241 hit points of damage to that guy. That's a lot. And she now she's got the spotter's badge for spotting thousands of hit points of damage. Well, over a thousand. And potentially a patrol duty. Okay, she's got that centurion. No, not yet. Hold on to your shells. Is it move up? Wait for him to poke his nose around the corner and then hit him hard. Oh, that 
LT432 almost flipped himself there. There's only four enemies left. These are two of them here. The other two are the RT. Is she going to get a shot on target? Let's hope so. Be nice to get that kill. That's one. Oh, he took a, she took a round. She's got two rounds left. And another kill steal by the LT432. And lastly, the enemy RT's in sight. And she gets that one. But she's in reload now. And there's only one RT left. She's not going to be able to load in time. And I think the LT432 is going after him. Yep, there he goes. Nippy little tank, the LT432. Very nicely done. Well, a lot of damage blocked by Mary Banks. She actually ended the game on just 14 hit points. Just 14. That last shot from the Centurion nearly wiped her out. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's the second class tanker for Mary Banks and the T69. She got a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of her own vehicle. And she got a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. And she got a steel wall. She tempted them to fire so many shots and bounce them that she ended up get blocking the most damage in the game overall. Her win eight from the battle was 1355, which is good. But unfortunately, she lost out on a few of those kills because of kill steals. She was about to nail the enemy tank and somebody else jumped in there and killed them before she got a chance to. And that seems to be the story of Mary Banks' life. She keeps telling me about this. And it's either that or she goes into battle and she gets savaged by premium ammo by, from the enemy. who just gets spammed them at her all the time. So let's have a look at the team score and see how well she did. Well, she didn't get the highest damage in the game. No, she, in fact, she was about mid-table with 998 hit points of damage. The highest damage was done by a CS44 with 2,172, picked up the Leather Slaves, and 2,018 went to the T20, and he picked up a Confederate. But Mary Banks, she did get a Battle Hero Medal. She got a Steel Wall for blocking the most damage. And when it came to kills, she was actually in joint second place because the highest score was the CS44. But the joint second place was another CS44, Mary Banks with two kills, and the LT432 on her own team. And the only person on the enemy team that actually did get two kills was the Centurion 5 1, the guy who actually fired that last round in that actually penetrated Mary Banks and only left her on 14 hit points at the end of the game. When it came to base XP, she was actually in second place. She spotted for so much damage, she managed to get a high XP. 927 for the CS44, 834 for Mary Banks in the T69, and 7088 for the T20. She fired 14 rounds, got 7 direct hits, 6 penetration, damage of 998 hit points, of which 258 were at more than 300 metres. She received 13 hits from the enemy, only 4 of which actually penetrated, 7 non-penetrations and 2 hits by way of splash damage. Most of the non-penetrations actually occurred when she was sitting over the other side of the ridgeline and they were firing at the top of her turret but just couldn't get the rounds through. And, the, well, two of the penetrations came while she poked over the ridgeline and they finally managed to poke one through the side of the turret. And the other two, of course, came when she got closer to the enemies near the end of the game. She blocked damage of 1,620 hit points in total. She spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged four of the enemy, killed two, and did 1,354 hit points of spotting assist. On a premium count, she earned 27,392 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 12,352 credits. She received 1,251 XP, times 2 for the first victory, took away 2,502 experience points altogether. She said, if the T69 is that bad, well, it's, it's not really that bad, actually, and what you were doing was very very good because you were spotting for your team and you were only giving the enemy the barest minimum of armor to actually fire at and it was the strongest armor as well the one at the top of the turret not the uh, the weak side of the turret or the cheekbones so it was actually quite funny that they kept bouncing rounds off you and uh, you were you were actually going for that steel wall in the sense because the enemy just couldn't penetrate you so it's not a bad little tank if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.